Hey I'm back for another video and welcome to Hypixel Skyblock and today I'm going to be ranking every single piece of armor in the game on a tier list that I've set up uh, on the lemon profile. If you saw my weapons tier list video then well here's the same exact place same day same time basically one after the other fezzy messed everything up and put a put a sus there it ranks from f all the way to s plus and i have these chests right here i also have the first sky reborn texture pack installed which will make it easier to distinguish between some of these pieces of armor not all of them because as you can imagine some of the unpopular ones don't really have that much uh going for them <laughs> anyways uh let's get right into it so we're gonna start off with some of the early game ones i mean farm suit helmet why is this a thing all oh, my frames are gonna be dying pumpkin helmet cactus now i'm only gonna have the helmets and maybe the chest plates only one piece of each set but just imagine the full set here uh, leaflet yeah it's <laughs> let's let's keep looking fairy farm armor salmon yeah helmet of the rising sun helmet of growth is that it i think that's it all right so these are all the early game weapons that are completely useless there's no reason to make these also they're very cheap but why farm suit pumpkin cactus leaflet's probably gonna be your first armor in this game because it's got the highest stats of most of these farm armor is a little expensive for what it does salmon it's crafted with enchanted salmon. It's not really an early game piece, but it's equally useless. Helmet of Growth. It's used to craft Mastiff, but it's kind of expensive for the fact that it's early game. It's only crafted... It's crafted with uh, enchanted dark oak, right? Helmet of the Rising Sun is an event item. All of these are useless. Just get rid of them. Don't even bother. Don't even bother touching these. All F. Mushroom is probably... It's, it's a pretty decent armor set. It's crafted with 24 regular old mushrooms. It's actually fairly helpful if you enchant it with growth because during the night, it will double everything on this armor piece. You can put Titanic Reforge on it and then you can survive some of the fire trials. It's actually not the terrible set. And, you know, theoretically, if you recommed it, but why would you do that? That being said, probably going to be your first serious armor after Leaflet. <laughs> So I would put it at a C for cringe. It's not that great. Angler armor is probably going to be what you use with all of your fishing in the start of the game. So until you get sponge or shark armor, this is your best bet, but that's not saying much. Lapis armor. The only thing I like about this is you get bonus XP orbs from mining ores. Otherwise its stats are pretty garbage. Maybe it'll be better than, um, it's not better than mushroom. It's not even as good as mushroom. Uh, the full set bonus makes it just about as good as mushroom, but all the time. I, I'm gonna give it a B. Miner's outfit gives you haste. Now, the thing I like about this is you get haste too. It's better than nothing. It makes it so you can insta break stone. But that being said, god potions are a thing in the mid game. I would say late, early game even, you know, miner's outfit it's okay it's not that great it's very cheap to make i would say it probably a c because it's gonna be it's gonna allow you to get a lot of cobble right as the game starts so it could be useful in that way before you unlock bizarre golem armor stats are decent use case is non-existent absorption three for 20 seconds when they kill an enemy i mean what it's crafted with enchanted iron would not recommend it's just outclassed with so many other armors minor armor it's really not that helpful it drops from the bosses the bosses it drops at the it drops from the mobs at the bottom of the deep caverns and it will what does it even do it gives you defense when inside of a mine and you get it free so it's not the worst but nah i mm, i would put it at a b as well it's better lapis armor basically hardened diamond uh not great but you know what it's a step up from everything else i would probably also put it at a c i can't give it a b again it's gonna be probably your first serious armor and well I, I said that about mushroom it's better than mushroom in most cases unless you're killing uh 
Sven's. It's okay. It's, it's C tier, solid C. Okay, now we're gonna take a pretty big step up because right now we're skipping straight to a hidden armor set. This is Monster Hunter. I know there's tarantula boots here, but just imagine there were spider boots. Monster Hunter is not, it's actually pretty freaking good. It's hard to really describe how good it is because like the stats of the armor is all over the freaking place and the full set bonus gives you like 30% more. Yeah, if I just put it on actually. See, this is Monster Raider. Let's imagine it was Monster Hunter, which I'm pretty sure still gives like 30% damage. Oh no, it's 25% damage while being attacked by monsters, 25% more damage. You take 25% less damage and give 25% more damage. And the stats are not terrible. Monster Raider is what I currently use in my hardcore profile. It's easier to get than dragon armors on Iron Man profiles. And it's fairly easy to grind for with minions. So just for that, I'd give it an A. It's basically like an an easier strong dragon armor. Now that being said, the skeleton helmet alone is probably a D. All of these armor pieces are a D by themselves. Uh, tarantula. Oh, I forgot full tarantula armor, didn't I? Because tarantula helmet's kind of in a realm of its own. Full tarantula armor is okay, but it's really nothing to really go crazy about. Monster Raider though, easy A. Uh, monster okay i should specify monster hunter and monster raider both get an a because i mean it's equally useful it's not that difficult to get tarantula boots perfect armor uh it could be upgraded to perfect tier 12 which is a great chest plate if you're subbing it in for example in place of a shadow assassin chest plate or necron chest plate gives a lot of defense it's basically hardened diamond but way better so I'd probably give it a B. Yeah, I don't think it deserves. It could, I could make the case for it to be an A. Maybe? For now, I'm going to give it an A. I know tier one's not that impressive, but tier 12 could be decent. Goblin armor. It's basically the go-to if you don't have sorrow for uh, mining speed. Actually, not bad. That being said, intelligence does get reduced by one no it gets maxed out at 100 i can't freaking speak but yeah the goblin armor if you have you know demonic on every talisman or uh whatever the other one is the other reforge for <laughs> intelligence talismans you can get a pretty decent mining speed it's basically a cheap sorrow armor not the worst i'd probably rank it a b for now helmet of the pack is basically a worse mastiff I don't see the reason for this. It basically has Legion built into it, but again, that's its only real selling point. It's fairly expensive and it is difficult to get. So, I, I mean, I've just never seen anyone use it. It's just completely not meta at all. So, F. Arm magma armor, honestly, same thing. This used to be decent in the beginning of the game, maybe. It gives you health for magma cubes killed and intelligence. Max 200 of each for the full set bonus. It's just not meta. I, I, I don't see... I don't see the use for it if I'm being honest. It's just not great. I'd put it at a D. Maybe not an F. Now, there's two other ones that are pretty much completely outclassed as well early game emerald armor is basically a worse perfect armor again it used to in the very beginning of the game used to be one of the best armors but pff, it's been almost two years since then and uh that probably earns it a solid f because it's also pretty expensive and requires a lot of emerald collection to actually get the full bonus out of it so no uh ember helmet it's like ender armor but for the nether again completely out of the meta blazing fortress is just not it, it might as well not exist crystal armor this one's actually fairly decent it's crafted with crystal frags which makes it kind of expensive but it gives you a crap ton of intelligence which is great if you're trying to do the romero quest also it's great in general i mean if you want to teleport around to get the uh the pelts if you're doing that it's useful if you're using certain mage weapons i would say it's actually pretty good i that earn a solid a i think crystal armor zombie chest plate 
I might as well get the full set here. Let's see. Zombie chestplate on its own is terrible, but it is used to craft the revenant chestplate, which is not the worst. But again, this is a three piece set, which means you could have something like a Reaper mask or a tarantula helmet or a warden helmet if you wanted. But it's only really good against zombies, which is just not meta at all i'd probably give it a d that being said reaper armor isn't terrible it gives decent stats and against zombies it's some of the best i mean it is probably one of the best sets in the game just for zombies 100 damage against zombies 200 damage yeah 200 damage to zombies 100 defense against zombies healing wands heal more and it deals one percent damage to all other mobs that's kind of a yikes divisive at best i'd probably give it a B Reaper armor just don't make sense unless you're killing zombies. If I'm being honest, it just doesn't make sense otherwise. Blaze helmet. And I might as well throw frozen blaze in as well. This is a weird looking helmet. I've <laughs> look at blaze armor. I I is it just me or just like I forgot this item looked this way. Anyways, Blaze Helmet's the precursor to Frozen Blaze. Otherwise, it's garbage. So it's very expensive, not too good, whatever, F. But Frozen Blaze is an upgraded Blaze armor. And it actually, because it got its rarity upgraded recently, I mean, we all knew that it was contend. It was a contender for superior dragon armor at a lower price, but then you know a lot of nerfs and changes happened and now it's probably more expensive but what it does have going for it is it approaches necron in damage sometimes that being said you are pet locked you have to be using blaze pet in order to get the full use out of this not a bad piece of armor at all but it is fairly expensive and you are pet locked so i'd give it an a it does not deserve an Ah, does it though? Maybe I'm tempted to give it an S because of the rarity upgrade, but I think I'm going to leave it at a, all right. I was tempted to give it an S, but I'll give it an A. Cheap tuxedo. The only use for it is to get Romero quest done. No other use really. All the tuxedos, there's no use because I mean, even Necron's better. I'm pretty sure per piece. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's just a waste of money. It's, it's annoying because you have to just immediately use it to get one thing and then it just sits in your, um, it wastes you money. It's just, it's annoying. It's not used as an actual armor piece. Ender. Now this is a good piece. Actually, Ender armor is nice because it doubles all your stats while on the end island. And that being said, it includes reforges, enchantments, and uh, hot potato books, fuming potato books. I made a whole video about how technically this is one of the tankiest pizza pieces of armor in the game just for that. And if you were to have a high cattle level, you could technically use this in place of Final Destination armor to kill Enderman. It's really solid, actually. So I think I'm going to put it at S. This is the first S tier armor just because of how cheap it is and how easy it is for everyone to get it i mean this is a rule of thumb of skyblock if anyone calls you a non for using a piece of armor or a weapon for example livid dagger ender armor shadow assassin uh juju shortbow it is a budget item and budget items are great because you get them way earlier than you probably should and if you were to you know build up the rest of your stats it can it can serve you pretty well so you know ignore the haters man it's an s tier it's it's s just because of how good it is in the early game i'm not gonna say it's the best armor in the game because it really isn't that's not what the scale is by the way it's how good it is at the time that you will find it so like again i'm not going to just put everything in f because it's not uh necron obviously just wanted to point that out all right let's speed this up Oh, that was not intended, but speedster helmet. I'm just going to tell you now, garbage. Don't bother with it. Young dragon armor is way better. Sponge, it's the precursor to shark. Otherwise, I really wouldn't use it. That being said, it is. It's it's uh, technically it's technically better than angler. So, you know what? Well, is it better, though? It's slightly worse than angler, actually, but it does get pretty decent health. So I'd put it in C for cringe. Uh, Mastiff is actually a decent armor set because Fire Trial and Sven Slayers. You get a lot of HP. I've actually used it for other Slayers before, including Spider. Not the worst, but it is kind of expensive. Uh, it'd be a little generous to give it. An eh. I'm not going to put it on par with Frozen Blaze, no. You know, I feel obligated. Screw it. 
Blaze is gonna be alongside Ender. Frozen Blaze is uh, S tier. But anyways, yeah, Mastiff, I'm gonna bump down to B. Tarantula Helmet specifically. So the Tarantula set is inoffensive. It's pretty good against, you know, Spider Slayer, but the helmet is awesome because of Octo Dex Terror. Oh, I know. Because of Radioactive. There we go. Gain plus one crit damage per 10 strength, max 1,000 strength. A thousand extra strength from one piece of armor is insanity it's a go-to armor piece it is any three-piece armor set if you technically want to do tux or for some reason or reaper this would be a great helmet even if you were using like any other armor in the game honestly dude tarantula is a great helmet so i i'm gonna put it s plus because it's affordable as well i mean it's i still sometimes even use it on my solo profile i it's a it's a great weapon for skipping Oh, it's a great weapon. It's a great piece of armor for skipping progression. I mean, three-fourths ender with this is going to get you pretty far with damage. Okay, so these kind of go hand in hand. Spooky and snowsuit. Pretty obvious to be using them during your, um, you know, during these events. But otherwise, they're pretty much useless. So, I'd put them in probably C tier. You know, if you're going to be doing Jerry Festival, then sure, I guess snowsuit's the best way to go. Spooky festivals, yeah, you'll be using spooky. Okay, shark scale. This is the go-to best armor for fishing, and for that reason alone, I think it deserves A. Do I really need to say much? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. Then again, fishing is not the best thing in the world, but you know, it, it's the best armor for fishing, and fishing is not my favorite thing to do, so I'm going to put it personally at an A. Mineral armor, only really good for leveling up compact on a pickaxe or a drill i can't see much of a reason other than that considering i mean it doesn't even work on mithril so and it's kind of expensive for what it is so i'm gonna put it at d glacite is basically goblin armor but if you want to not screw with your intelligence and use a better pet i found that it Generally speaking, Glacite is a bit more useful than Goblin. It doesn't deserve an A, though. I think I'm going to put it right next to Goblin. It's slightly better at a B. Helmet of the Rising Sun. Event armor. Don't need to say anything. For me personally and Technoblade, it was insane. But for everyone else, it's terrible. Um, Bad Person. It is an upgraded spooky set, but it has the addition of... You can have Infinite Grappling Hook, which could be used for maneuverability, especially in glitchy lobbies where you just want to see things you normally shouldn't see. In terms of stats, though, it's not that great. It's definitely an improvement over spooky, but it's not much else. So I think it deserves a B. Diver Armor. Now, considering, right, before I said that Shark Armor was the best... So looking at this guy, I, I think it's just fallen out of the meta, especially for its price. So I'm I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it at D. It's not quite an F because it is useful, but when shark scale exists, why why would you use diver? Werewolf. Now this is an interesting set. This is basically one of the first. This is the first exposure to the community for ferocity alongside the tiger pet, and it with tiger pet used to be pretty insane in general but they did nerf the ferocity of the tiger pet and honestly it's pretty good against bosses specifically golems maybe even dragons mainly because these bosses have a limit on how much damage per hit you can do and you know three fourths werewolf of the warden helmet's great as well it's just a useful set to have so honestly i'd put it at s i think werewolf's a good utilitarian set just for its ferocity by the way ferocity um, okay, a full werewolf set with a tiger pet and a livid dagger is basically guaranteed way to do three out of the four slayers, two, four. Just putting that out there. Okay, now we're getting to the dragon armors. I'm just gonna get them all at once because they are fairly similar. Well, actually, not really. Some of them are pretty bad. So, uh, let's start off with the garbage ones. So, we're just gonna open up the chest for F. Old armor, completely not meta and useless. Protector, same deal. Unstable is fairly cheap, and it's a decent armor piece, but really, you it's its slightly worse than Ender, and it costs, like, five times as much. So I'm going to give it uh, D. It's not great. It really isn't. Wise Dragon Armor, I'd probably put it to C, just because the intelligence is nice, I guess, with AOTE teleporting around. Eh, you know what? I'd be. Maybe. It's basically a cheap storm set, but why would you? 
if you just get Storm, Young Dragon Armor I actually quite like because it gives you plus 100 speed cap, which is very nice. I mean, it's the go-to armor for foraging and its stats are actually somewhat decent. It's not bad. It's three fourths Young Dragon Armor with Rancher Boots is the go-to for farming as well. If you don't have a God Potion, but then again, God Potions are so easily available. So I'm not giving an S, it'd be probably A. Strong Dragon Armor would also get an A because it's basically the expensive version of Monster Raider. And it does buff the aspect of the end by 75 damage, which is very nice. And just that combination alone gets you way farther in the game, probably for the price than anything else. So I'm almost tempted to give it an S just for that. It's cheap and it buffs the AOTE, which mm. then again, if I have if I have Ender in here, I got to put strong. Yeah, I mean, the obvious transition is from Ender to strong. That being said, Superior Dragon Armor is way too expensive for what it does. It got outclassed by so many other pieces of gear and it's super rare you're not going to see it often you lose so much money on dragons so i think it deserves oh, i hate to put superior at C. all it has going for it is pet luck oh look what they did to my boy it's just, i can't give it a better score holy dragon armor useless i've just <laughs> okay you know what it is better slight uh, it's somewhere in the middle between protector and old it's just not good it's just not good. The dragon armor's got wrecked, bro. Again, this is a perfect example of why best armor in terms of stats doesn't necessarily mean best score. Because strong dragon armor is way more useful for the price than superior is. It's just so many better options. Okay, moving on, we have Sorrow at the current moment in time, which is going to change very soon. This is the best armor for mining, gives a lot of mining speed, gives the best magic find in the game out of any set and 100 true defense per well actually I, I think it's varying amount per piece but it gives you a lot of true defense not bad i uh i like sorrow armor it's actually quite good is it s for the magic find yeah people sub in sorrow pieces all the time for other pieces of armor and its stats are not that garbage it's okay i mean you get 20 magic find from using the full set it's not bad to s final destination okay so the helmet specifically is f but the other three fourths of the final destination set is basically go to for enderman slayer that being said if you are that much of a sweat and have a hyperion and whatever you're probably going to start using ender armor if you have like had a 43 plus so final destination is a good set but i don't think it's the best set it's like a reaper armor for enderman its stats are not bad you get a good amount of intelligence but otherwise i just can't see putting it yeah, putting it with Mastiff would make sense, wouldn't it? Okay, these are a bunch of the really common drops that you get in dungeons. Rotten armor, bouncy armor, which I'd never heard of. Heavy armor, skeleton grunt, skeleton soldier, skeleton master. Skeleton lord, which I've also never heard of. Uh, zombie soldier and zombie commander. I'm going to point this out right now. Rotten is a good starting armor specifically for dungeons, which makes it pretty niche. I would put it in... No, I can't put it in B. Rotten, I'm going to put as a C. It's probably the first armor you're going to be using in dungeons. Bouncy? I don't know what the hell this is for. Archers? It, pfft, its stats are not that great. Slightly better than Rotten, it looks like, but I don't know. For early game archers, I guess... I've, again, I've never seen this. This is my first time being exposed to it. Heavy armor is basically the tank version of these two. So I would say this is slightly worse, actually. It gives you terrible speed as well. I'm going to give heavy armor a D. Skeleton grunt might be better than bounce. You know what? The fact that the skeleton armors exist, I'm putting bouncy in D. Uh, so skeleton soldier and master, you can... I'm putting them both in C because it's decent, but your effective HP is terrible. Skeleton Grunt, I'm going to put the D. Skeleton Lord, I've never even heard of before. It requires a pretty high cata level too. I did, I'm going to put this one in F just for the cata level requirements, dude. It, it, terrible. Zombie Soldier, it's better than Rotten, I guess, but you really shouldn't be using too many of these. Zombie Commander... Catacombs level 24 requirement. You're going to have better gear by then, so I'm putting that at F. Zombie Knight chestplate. 
again, if you have one of these, people are going to call you a non. And the reason for that is it's budget. It's a cheaper way to get good damage if you're using 3 Force Shadow Assassin, 3 Force Necron. And if you were to get, for example, one that dropped as a legendary without a recom on it, you can recom it again to Mythic, which I would not recommend, but technically you could. And it's actually... It's within like 5-10% damage of the real chest plate. It's not bad at all. I'd actually... I I can't give it an S+. Plus. I've given Tarantula S+. Plus. I would give it an S. It's a great budget thing. It saves you coins. It's not the best in the game, but it is going to skip some progression for you. Skeletor Helmet. Why would you be using Skeletor? I'm going to give it D because it's not completely useless, but it's not. It's... It's... <sighs> maybe a C. I'm going to give it a C maximum just because of the Skeletor perk. <laughs> Again, you really shouldn't be using this. Zombie Lord, the high Kata requirement makes it useless. Super heavy, you can do way better at Kata 24. Now, Adaptive Armor is not the worst. I would say it's probably something you'd want to go for after getting you know maybe some of the rotten or skelly armor or zombie soldier the next step's probably adaptive it's not good it's basically what you're going to be using before shadow assassin and necron that being said it can't tie it with those no we're gonna put it there okay shadow assassin i'm not gonna say that much other than it's a decent piece of armor the thing is if you were to buy this from the auction house three-fourths of this with a zombie knight chest plate right become and then get a livid dagger just embrace the meme become the shadow assassin non it's got pretty decent stats it's not the worst the fact that it's epic as well means it gets a good reforge i would put it at an s and then you could resell it after you're done with it and it'll probably sell for about this is like the used car of armors you can buy it drive it a few years and then sell it back for what you got it for not bad necromancer lord now this is a weird one it's a summoning thing so technically if you wanted to summon some more allies to help you if you had a reaper site than a summoning ring in this then you can get like five six mobs but for any other purpose, I don't see it. And it's also very expensive. So I'm going to put it at a B. And that is generous. Honestly, I'd rather put it at a C, but I'm going to leave it at B. Now, this is where we get into best in the game territory. So to start things off simple, um, this is a Necron's helmet. Now, specifically, the helmet might not be that useful, but three-fourths Necron with a Warden helmet is the best melee damage you could do in the game. Full Necron isn't bad either. That being said, you're probably better off with a Tarantula helmet, so again, would not recommend the full set, but this is just representing the full set. Three-fourths Necron, I mean, easily. These, again, Tarantula helmet, three-fourths Necron, beautiful combination. Storm, best in the game for intelligence, and it has really good stats in terms of health and defense. And again, you don't want to really be using the helmet unless you're just going for mana outside dungeons if you're doing pelts or something sure but if you're in dungeons you're probably going to be walking you're going to probably want to use a uh what is it uh wither got wither goggles i think it's wither goggles but again the helmet's not terrible it's just not really that much worth it but the, um, again this is representing the full set the helmets i'd probably put at a if you want my thoughts now here's where things get a little weird uh wither helmet specifically who's going to be using this i will put it at an f because it really is it's just an unrefined version of the other helmets, which you would immediately upgrade. Goldor and Maxor, I'm going to be 100% with you. I don't know what these sets really... I mean, I know that they're for, I mean, Archer and Tank, respectively. I don't know. Okay, so obviously Goldor is the tank set. I mean, look at the amount of health and defense. Crit damage plus 30% with Goldor. I don't know. These two are not as good by far. Uh, so I'm probably going to put them at... Who runs around with Goldor and Maxor? I've never seen that before. Did, you know, I'm going to put it at A just because there might be like the 5% of the player base that run these and use this armor. But these are the ones you want to be focusing on, especially outside dungeons. Okay, so we're actually going to take a step back from the end game stuff and late game stuff. <laughs> Here's all the helmets. We have Blaze Hat, Chicken Head, Creeper Hat, Cow Head, Gas Head, Fish Hat... I'd probably put Fish Hat a little bit more forward than the rest of these. Hold on. Yeah, these are very, very weak pieces of armor. So let me tell you right now, all of this 
all of these hats, every single one of them, are the most obscure and honestly dumb pieces of armor in the game. I mean, they give you like no stats. The chicken head, I can make the case maybe it's useful if you want to get a lot of eggs early game. But other than that, it's really not that useful. Explosion immunity, debuff immunity. A lot of these have, you know, the perk would be okay if it was on something else. But the fact that it's a head with no stats whatsoever. These are all crafted for near nothing. Uh, Enderman mask you get from the races, but it gives minus 100 intelligence. Don't focus on any of these. Pufferfish, magma cube, skeleton, zombie, gas, cow, creeper, chicken, hat. Blaze, Golem, Blobfish, Clownfish, it's all dumb. I would not recommend any of these. All F. Honestly, I think they're added to the game as a joke. <laughs> so moving on. Let's get to the still terrible, but slightly less so helmets. First of all, Happy Mask. It's a collector's item. Doesn't do anything. F. Now the fish hat could be used to uh, basically, you know, unlock the Viking shop, but that's it. Otherwise, it's annoying as hell and is used only to, you know, make people that stream angry so i'm putting it at a d and that is generous slime hat it's caused enough dupes to make your head spin including the pigicle dupe it makes it so you don't take kb from mobs and to this day i'm pretty sure there's still a bug that allows you to get anti kb with mobs by swapping with this guy nowadays though the turtle shelmet's a thing and it's just for the damage it's done to the game i'm going to give it a d it was kind of helpful with that bug but i don't i don't feel obligated to include that in its rating spider hat is actually not the worst in the early game it gives you 25 percent crit chance which could be pretty helpful actually if you can't afford something like a tarantula helmet i mean actually this could be your first helmet this with you know, two thirds perfect, or perfect armor, two thirds hardened diamond. You'll be using it for a decent amount of time. It's not the worst. I'd, I'd probably put it at a C. Squid hat. It's only helpful if you're squid fishing, which it's not a great money ma making method anymore. Pretty niche. D. Now the rabbit hat is actually not too terrible from what I remember. Ah, okay. Never mind. That's the pet. The helmet's useless. Bye bye. <laughs> Lantern helmet. It gives you health and defense for farming level. Kind of cool, but it's there's so many other helmets in this game that outclass this thing. I'd give it a D, and that's also generous. Okay, now we're getting to these zombie hearts. They are good crafting components, but as an actual helmet, I would not recommend it. It doubles your healing, but there are things like the Reaper Mask, which also do that and actually give decent stats. These are the goodest crafting materials, but not as an actual helmet. I would give... Eh, maximum a C. And again, that is being generous. I'm feeling good today. Speaking of the Reaper Mask, it's basically a better version of Zombie Hearts. You get uh, two times healing from all sources, two times zombies from Reaper Mask, which is very, or from Reaper Scythe, which is nice. Allows you to store and summon two additional souls. It's a necromancy item. People actually recommend this in place of, for example, a Warden Helmet if you're dying a lot to a specific boss. And it gives decent stats actually not a bad piece of armor a lot of helmets in this game are very powerful is it as good as a shadow assassin helmet though eh? only against super strong enemies that you need to heal from now nah, you know what high a tier how about that and then we have the witch mask the vampire mask and the vampire witch mask <laughs> uh witch mask i don't even remember how to get this i think it's spooky festival or something it summons bats which follows things attacks enemies it's okay it's not that great it used to be used to afk but it does so little damage so infrequently that it's really not good as an afk item anymore it's not a good armor piece hey d yeah vampire mask it caused a lot of exploits people just used it to afk their islands but now you can't do that for combat xp so again d and then you have the combination of the two which does the bat swarm ability and it rejuvenates it's basically both of them in one and it has better stats so i guess i'll give it a c it's still not a great helmet because there's just better helmets in the game it's not bad but when compared to the other helmets, especially Tarantula, it just stands no chance. Okay, Krampus helmet. This one is not really useful as an actual piece of armor. I mean, if you give 500 gifts, it gives 500 health. So that's a lot of health, but 
again, there's better helmets. That being said, though, the fact that it replaces diamond sprinting as a way to make money from minions and is better, it makes more money than a diamond sprinting for only one minion. It's an obvious choice for everyone to get at some point in their profile. And just for that reason alone, I'm giving it an A. <laughs> it's not great as a piece of armor, but it is a useful item. Spirit Mask is basically a worse Bonzo Mask. We'll get to that. It basically gives you speed and immunity. Damage immunity for three seconds could be useful in dungeons, but it doesn't heal you. That's the problem. So maybe you'll be saved from dying, but if you get hit again, you're dead. So I, I mean, the damage immunity could proc and maybe you could use a zombie sword and it will save you. But I've never seen people seriously use a spirit mask. It's basically just a cheap way to get your seal of the family up in terms of how many dark auction purchases you have. B would be very, very generous. I don't even really feel that comfortable doing that. Uh, oh, Water Hydra had this. <laughs> Funny enough, was the best helmet in the game before the end update, I'm fairly certain. Could be wrong about that. Nowadays, though, completely irrelevant. And it's, I mean, it's almost worth nothing. It's kind of not even that rare. Eh, no. <laughs> uh, D. Crown of Greed easy f just because it's so expensive to use it used to be like a better tarantula helmet and it is you do more damage but it costs coins to use and there's such a thing as the warden helmet which does even more damage and doesn't cost coins so this thing literally costs you money to use all the time and it's not just costs you money it costs you a lot of money if you were to use something like an m blade you might be spending over like a hundred thousand coins per kill Ugh. scary and speaking of warden helmet there it is best helmet in the game gives so much damage easy s plus i don't even have to think about it. it it just is it is the best helmet in the game has your speed but who cares i mean you get so much damage from it it's absolutely worth it now we're getting to some more zombie helmets uh specifically helmets so sniper helmet uh why would you use this it drops pretty frequently all it's used for is getting essence really <laughs> again better helmets uh f mender helmets now i don't play healer so honestly i don't know how useful this is so if i rank it incorrectly i apologize any healing on other players and yourself is doubled while in dungeons so basically a reaper mask but better the mender fedora crown i'm gonna make a wild yes and saying there's not a lot of healers in the game so i'm probably gonna put it at a c you know i'll put the crown the best version at b just so i don't make people mad but honestly i don't see much of a purpose for it that much if you're a sweaty dungeon team you're not gonna have a healer that's eh, screw it no i can't i'm putting i'm putting it at a c bonzo mask actually i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it an s because you know what if you die, you get fully healed, but the problem is the cooldown is pretty long, but it's actually quite nice for floor seven with the stupid wither skulls. I hate them. Uh, is it as good as something like Shadow Assassin? No. Zombie Knight? No. Sorrow? Okay, you know what? No. It's, it's a solid A, not quite an S. Okay, this one's pretty easy. Wither Goggles, S+. Plus. It's like the Warden Helmet, but for ability damage. Not quite, actually. <laughs> not quite. It's like a slightly better Storm Helmet. It's good. It's pretty good. But it's not a Warden Helmet. Never mind. But it is S plus still. As for the other variants, yeah, it's good. Probably B, Shadow Goggles. Yeah, that's worth. Okay, this Summoning Eye represents a precursor eye i'm gonna have to search it up in the auction house because i could not afford one so if we look up the precursor eye its ability is eye beam fires a laser in front of you dealing 4,000 damage very weird item it's an armor piece that is a weapon i don't know if there's any other pieces of the of armor in the game that do that the thing is it costs like what 20 million coins the cheapest one right now is 23 mil i just don't see the use for it because again there's better helmets and it's just it's it's cool but it's definitely just weird i've never seen a person seriously use a precursor i we've almost completely filled the f chest how many armor pieces are irrelevant oh my uh, anyway uh pig mask cosmetic item f all right let's get to next obby chest plate good for early game getting a precise speed for farming yeah, yeah, yeah. C tier. Once you get rancher boots, completely irrelevant. 
Uh, Mithra Coat. Some people thought it would be good for Enderman Slayer, but it turned out not to be. So D, stone chest plate, metal chest plate, and steel chest plate. I'm assuming these are tank chest plates, but when perfect chest plate exists, why even bother? I would not. These two would definitely be a D. This one, maybe a C. Yeah, I can't give it higher than that. Stereo pants, automatic. You know what? There's the chest all the way on the left here outside. This is F minus minus. I'm putting stereo pants in there for reasons I'm not going to get into. Farmer boots, rancher boots. They are both great. I'm going to put... I'm going to put rancher boots in S, farmer boots in A, just because it's so useful for farming. And I mean, just having rancher boots on in general is what you're going to be doing if you're not fighting something and just casually walking around. Uh, squid boots. Well, actually, you know what? No, rancher boots are going to be on par with young dragon armor. Squid boots. It's garbage. F. Spider boots on their own garbage but when it's involved in monster hunter it's pretty good but on its own it's garbage yikes bro so much garbage necrotic spear uh, the, the cool thing about spear boots i didn't know this it allows you to fly on public islands like look at this i didn't know that existed but it only lasts for a few seconds and then you fall to your death ow otherwise completely useless i don't know why this item exists if i'm being completely honest with you it's kind of neat but um very expensive so f now finally these two represent uh very special helmets in the game these represent the golden heads these represent the diamond heads so if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm gonna look up necron head so as you can see golden necron head it is basically a warden helmet that does not get rid of speed while in the catacombs it's a great value honestly i know it's kind of expensive at 11 mil for a necron one specifically there's one for each floor i should probably mention so there's going to be a livid head there's going to be a bonzo head there's going to be a, a a thorn head they're very good i, I mean if you can afford it I mean, the diamond one's going to be freaking expensive. I mean, look at this. 140 mil. Now, I'm pretty sure this is well beyond what a warden helmet would give you in that specific floor of dungeons. If you are that much of a sweat, this is the go-to thing to have. Three-fourths Necron with the diamond Necron head with, let's say, I mean, a Valkyrie or even a Axe of the Shredded. You're going to be doing so much melee damage. It's ridiculous. So I would honestly rate them both S+. Plus congratulations and with that we've completed the tier list what do you think uh so the s s plus is honestly not that uh crowded i was expecting way more to be here warden helmet tarantula helmet obviously necron and storm armors not the helmets themselves wither goggles obviously uh diamond and gold heads and then you have s tier with the shadow assassins and the ender armors and strong it's basically the best for the price except for frozen blaze which is kind of like in a weird place right now where it's just a bit worse but still really good it's it's weird it's just it's like if you want to be the hipster of hypixel skyblock and still progress in a somewhat uh, you'd be able-bodied, but you'd just be very weird. <laughs> uh, werewolf, sorrow, very solid. And then you have all the things that are, you know, good for maybe early game progression, except for these two. They're kind of in a weird place progression-wise. Again, more transitional items. A few that are the best of what they are, but very niche. And then you just have kind of garbage, but not really. It could have a use somewhere very briefly. This one's just too expensive for what it is. Then you have trash and then you have literal trash. And then we have the unspeakables. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this tier list, uh, again, it costs like 300 million coins to buy all the stuff for this video and the previous one. So I'd really appreciate if you left a like on this video. But until then, I guess that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later. Oh,